I wanted to be able to um, to put this, this treasured saxophone in the hands of the right person. This saxophone belonged to the great, the late great John Coltrane. And it is indeed a love supreme. Now, the, the phone could be cleaned up a little bit. By the way, this is the original case, which it came in, as you can see. It's a bit worn, uh, but, but this, is the, this is the joint. This is, this is Coltrane's love supreme. This is a saxophone. Now, I believe that, um, well, let me just step over here for just a second. And I want to be able to uh, give a little bit more light. I believe that this sax was the very first really expensive saxophone that Coltrane purchased. This thing is, uh, I can give you the serial number, which is on the back of it here. And the, I believe that if he purchased this used, it would have been in the early days of his, um, his um, career that this phone, saxophone would have been purchased. Now here's the deal. This is a John Coltrane saxophone. I'm holding in my hand a very treasured, if you will, instrument played by one of the greatest jazz musicians the world has ever known. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of this saxophone. This saxophone was given to a woman who was a benefactor to our church, who has given us over one million dollars in antiques and arts and vintage items, uh, from furnishings to crystal to uh, chinaware, you name it, paintings, etc. Over one million dollars she's given to us. Now, well, we caution all of our donors and contributors. We haven't sold all those things as of yet, so we're not rolling into Benjamins as of yet, but we do have uh, the products. We have the antiques. We have the vintage items from jewelry to furnishings to uh, uh, John Coltrane saxophone. Now, the issue with this saxophone is, is that this small saxophone was given to our benefactor by Prince. Now, let me tell you, I said that's right. It, it was given to her by Prince. And Prince gave it to her for her contributions on the song Purple Rain. She didn't want to take any money for it. She's extremely wealthy on her own. And, uh, and so he gave her this saxophone that he had gotten from Coltrane. How that, how that transpired, we don't know. But I want to let you know that this saxophone, this instrument, this beautiful instrument, I have, I believe the donor, the benefactor, I believe her. She said that Prince gave it to her. And that this, either John Coltrane gave it to Prince, I don't know what kind of relationship that they had. But I can tell you this, that he purchased it used, probably one of his first very good saxophones, but this is an excellent one. It's, it's really a work of art, but it's all kinds of decorations on it. Now, we haven't cleaned it up. If you clean this thing up, it probably would be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful instrument. I'm asking for $100,000 for this saxophone. And a lot of people would say, Pastor Man, if you can show me that this is authentically belonged to uh, or can be verifiably demonstrated and traced all the way back to the hands of John Coltrane and a love supreme, we would probably pay you $200,000 for the saxophone. But let me say this. I, I believe the benefactor, anybody who can give away $1 million in art and vintage items uh, to us as a church, she is a woman of God, would not lie. She would not lie and, and, and to say that Prince gave her this sax and that it belonged to John Coltrane. She would not lie. So here's the other If you want a piece of history, if you want, if you want something that has changed the music world, if you want something that has been, the sound thereof that has come out of this has been played all over the world, then this is what you want to get, this saxophone. You want to get it. I'm not going to maybe give you some sort of a certificate as you may want to ask. But if you are a music lover, you love the music of John Coltrane, or if you're just a, you know, person who is 
uh, enamored with history and enamored with the uh, development of music throughout time, this is something that you want to own. I can tell you this, when I pick this saxophone up, I feel John Coltrane. He was born in North Carolina, you know, not too far from out of he was born 39 miles from where I was born in Red Springs, North Carolina. He was born just a little bit in a little town called East Rockingham or Hamlet, North Carolina. All my friends in North Carolina know that very well. You know, if you're looking for a certificate, as I stated earlier, I don't have one. But I have the word of a woman who has given our church over a million dollars in products, products. She wouldn't lie. She doesn't have to lie. She does not have to lie. She said Prince gave her this sax. So if you, if you purchase this sax, you'll have a bit of history of, of, of Prince, who is the late Prince, and also John Coltrane. I'm available. You can call me at number 877-777-0734, or you can email me at atlah1 at aol.com. And uh, we can talk about this, but I'm asking $100,000. And beyond that, you can make me an offer. But this is history. This is a love supreme. This is a beautiful history. John Coltrane, everybody. John Coltrane. Thank you so very much. I'll, I'll wait to hear from you. Mellon Bank to Judge Bluth and to Judge Francis A. Kahn III. We shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved, we shall not, we shall not be moved, sing it, we shall not, we shall not be moved, we shall not, we shall not be moved. In the midst the war we fight on, standing on the word of God we stand strong, we shall